Well, my name is Philip Barlow. I've been here at the Maxwell for half a dozen years now. And before that, I was a professor of religious studies at several colleges and universities around the country. I study religion and everything else would bore the world on a five minute clip. I uh, schooled as an undergraduate at Weber State College and I majored in history and psychology. Uh, but after I graduated, I had uh, done well enough in school and thought I might go on to graduate school, but I had never heard of the formal study of religion as a field that didn't exist anywhere in Utah in the, in the sense that it now does. Um, but I ran into a new friend a couple of years after I graduated and was stalling for which way I would go. Um, and he had been off east to study religion formally and I had instant divine envy like I realized in that moment behind all my study of philosophy or history or psychology or science. There were questions about ultimate meaning and ultimate values and what human beings are and what human beings are for. And those are ways of getting at religion, or rather religion is one way of understanding all those questions. So it lit a fire in my gut and I went and did likewise and went off and studied religion formally. At the Maxwell Institute, we're doing a series of books, nine or ten volumes, on the Doctrine and Covenants in anticipation of next year's curriculum. And they are organized topically, so we have a volume on agency and the law and suffering and um, family history connections. And I am doing one on time. I've just finished that manuscript, and so the next project that I'll be on for the next couple of years is everything about the war in heaven. It not only, what I do not only relates to um, disciple scholarship, but that's the reason we're here. Faith is not a virtue in a vacuum by itself. It's like an atom, and it has to be combined with another atom to be powerful, effective, and good. So faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is good. Faith in God is good. Faith in truth is good. Faith in those who are worthy of faith as friends is good. You can't have a friendship or a marriage without trust or faith. But you can have faith in all sorts of stupid and dangerous things, right? Terrorists have a great deal of faith when they commandeer airplanes and kill thousands of people. Faith isn't a virtue by itself. Um, that's a little bit true of disciple scholarship. Um, you can be a disciple of all sorts of nonsense, right? A disciple is a follower and you can follow nonsense or error. Um, so it helps for discipleship and knowledge or wisdom to be combined, which we um, are helped by when we do scholarship. So Elder Neil A. Maxwell is the one who coined the term disciple scholarship and like H2O combined atoms to make something life-giving, discipleship and scholarship when married um, are a healthy thing.